Okay, here we see a micro bit. It's in a Z-bit tool belt, which is a special adapter to use standard breadboard wires. Really handy, I should do a post on that one day. I've had it for a long time, great piece of kit. But we can see NeoPixels. Everyone loves NeoPixels. And we're going to program this with EduBlocks. And this is on microbit.edublocks.org. And as you can see on screen, I've already set up a, a quick demo, which is just showing this light going around. So, <coughs> excuse me, quickly explain it. We import the NeoPixel library. We then say where the NeoPixels are connected, and that's on pin zero. And there are 12 of them. There are 12, count them. We then use a loop that continues on forever. And then we set a for loop to iterate 12 times, because there's 12 NeoPixels. Every time a loop goes round, the value of i, which will go from 0 to 11, will be set to either 6400 or 0640 or 0064, and that's red, green, blue. Once we set it, we show it. We then sleep for a very short amount of time. That's like, what is it? 120 for a second. Then we clear, and that basically just clears the pixel ready for the next colour. So it makes it an animation going round and round. Repeat that for green, repeat that for blue, and you'll see that there. So let's make it even quicker. Uh, let's change that to 20, because we're mad. If anyone's got epilepsy, look away in a few moments. I download the hex, save it to the drive, and that's got now. Open up my downloads folder. Drag it over micro bit, and you'll see, well, you won't see actually, but on the back there is a flashing yellow light. I see it's been written to the micro bit. Bang. Even quicker. That's how easy it is to program with Edublocks. Anyway, thanks.